The following takes place between 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. Hey Roche, and uh, hello YouTubers who are watching for whatever reason. I know it's been a little while since I touched base last, so uh, I thought I'd make it up today by doing something actually interesting and educational, uh, which is new for me, actually doing something that's worthwhile. So anyway, um, today I'm going to do things like this with my head that look really stupid on camera, and then edit them out later. As you may or may not have noticed, I've got a haircut, which makes me feel like about five pounds lighter. It also makes me look less stupid, which is good. Uh, so for everybody out there who says they can't cook, and that includes all you women, today I'm going to teach anybody who thinks that they can't cook anything how to cook the stupidest thing in the world. It's like you can't mess it up. There's no way of messing it up. Well, there's, there's lots of ways of messing it up, but it's not as easy to mess up as, say, like a, a roast chicken or something. Not that that's difficult, but anyway. Today I am baking from a recipe my mother gave me. It's called Humongous Biscuits, which to anyone in the South is going to think that I'm talking about scones, which I'm not. I'm talking about cookies. When I was in the States last, I was showing what an American biscuit is, and yeah, I was like, that's a scone, and they were like, no, that's not a scone, and I was like, a, a what, a scone, what the hell's a scone, and they're like, you know, the little things you have for breakfast, blah, 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 I was like, oh, a scone, they're like, no, a scone, you say scone, and I was like, I thought that the, the English accent was the one that was high and mighty. You guys are saying scone, I'm just saying scone like it's some kind of lazy thing. You know, another thing I picked up was that in the south, I don't know if it's everywhere in America, but in the south they say garage, and I thought that sounded really high and mighty too. It's like, I just say garage, you know? I say garage, someone said, no, no, you say garage, and I was like, oh, I'm going to go park my car in the garage, which is weird because I would say park my car, but I'd say park my car in the garage. I don't know, it seems kind of weird to me. Anyway, uh, let's stop talking about scones and garages and go and make some biscuits, uh, which we're going to do right now. Alright, first of all, grab some chocolate because we're making chocolate biscuits. Uh, now you want a pretty big block. This one here is going to probably make two batches, so you won't need it that big. But uh, we can't just chuck that straight in the mixture like that because we need it in little chunks. So if you want, get out a knife and start chopping away. Um, you need a cup of chocolate in the end. You could do it this way with a knife if you like, or you could do it the way that I enjoy most. that you're gonna have some perfectly smashed up chocolate um, make sure you pull out the biggest pieces because they're not gonna be any use to you uh, unless you want big lumpy cookies now you want to get a, about a cup of those so get yourself a cup of chocolate that's chocolate right okay and um, keep the rest of them you might want to eat them later or you might want to make some more biscuits I don't know Alright, now grab yourself some butter. We need about 150 grams, which in sticks is like one and a third, or that's like uh, two-thirds of a cup. Uh, Alright, grab yourself some butter. We're going to have to soften this butter, so um, for anyone who doesn't know how to soften butter, this is going to be quite the eye-opener. Okay, first you've got to cut that butter up into little tiny pieces, otherwise you're going to get lumpy cookies. Then chuck that in the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds, depending on how soft it already is, and that'll be A-OK. -okay. Okay, now grab yourself a big bowl. You can see this one here is a Shrek bowl that I got some stupid promotional thing for the video store I used to work at. The bigger the bowl you can get, the better. Alright, now grab yourself a half cup measure. Um, we're going to need one cup of white sugar. So put that in there, then get one cup of brown sugar. Chuck that in there too. And then we're going to mash it up, but not before we put our butter in. So let's chuck the butter in. Okay, I sound like an idiot. Alright, now grab yourself an electric beater. If you don't have an electric beater and you just have a hand beater, this is going to be hell. So get an electric beater and take to your mixture. And we want to mash this right up until it's... Well, it says creamy in the recipe, but you're never going to get it creamy yet. Okay, so once you've got that finely ground up, there's going to be no butter in there. Make sure you can't see any butter. Okay, now we want to get yourself an egg. That's an egg. Alright, let's get the egg in there. Everything except for the shell, because the shell tastes like crap. Um, here's another egg. Let's put two in there. Alright, crack that open, Richard. There you go. Alright, did you get any shell in there? 
Nope. Okay, good. All right, now let's mix up these two eggs into this mixture, and now you can get it creamy because you got some kind of liquid in there. Yum yum, raw eggs. Okay, it looks pretty good to me. Now we want to get half a cup of flour um, and add to that some rolled oats. I believe in the states you call it oatmeal. We want one cup of that. Uh, baking powder, yes, we have some baking powder. We want one teaspoon of that. Put one teaspoon in. Sweet. Okay, let's get mixing. So that was a half cup of flour, one cup of rolled oats, and a teaspoon of baking powder. All right, pretty easy to mix at this point. Not too bad. All right, let's put another half cup of flour in there, and another cup of rolled oats. See, I'm using a half cup measure. That's because I'm cool. Alright, now we can put some of this chocolate in there. Uh, let's get half, a, half of that cup of chocolate and dump that in there. Well done. Alright, mixing again. And now it starts to get a bit messy. The bigger your bowl is, uh, the easier this is going to be. You're going to get a whole bunch of mixtures stuck on your beaters as well, so you better start scraping that off with your knife or you know something that you don't want to actually go blunt later. Um, Alright, third time lucky, let's do another half cup of flour, another cup of rolled oats, and another teaspoon of baking powder. So you've got two teaspoons of baking powder in there, and dump the rest of the chocolate in. Alright, and get mixing. If you don't have a very big bowl, you're going to end up with this all over the floor, and um, it might, even with the electric beater, it's going to get pretty hard to mix at this point, so you might as well get your hands in there and get, get your, yeah, we can see it's stuck on the beater. Alright, get that. Get the mixture off the beater, Richard. Damn. All right, there we go. All good. So it's all mixed in now. Make sure you got no sort of flour showing and stuff. It's got to be pretty sticky. All right, now grab yourself a cookie sheet and cover it in baking paper or wax paper. Uh, my cookie sheet's not very big, but you might have a bigger one. But this is how we do it. All right, grab yourself some mixture in your hand and sort of get it into a ball. You might have to roll it around. See, there we go. Rolling it around your hands and you should be able to squish it down into your palm and it should be about the size of the palm of your hand depending on how big your hand is. If you're Andre the Giant you're going to end up with some giant cookies. But uh, for me I've got pretty big hands and I make pretty big cookies this way. Chuck that in there and we're going to do a bunch of them. So there's another one. Oh look, time lapse. And oop, nope, here we go to a long shot. Okay, and we're going to do another one. We get it, you roll it in your hands and pat it down and put it in the cookie tray. Get over it. All right, yeah, that's right, that didn't look weird at all. Stick it down. Okay, now once you've got those on your cookie sheet there, chuck them in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes on 200 degrees Celsius or 300 degrees Fahrenheit if you're American. And then you'll have some pineapple cheesecake! No, you'll have some freshly baked cookies. Uh, if you prod them here in the middle, uh, they should be a little bit firm. If they're firm, they're going to be chewy. If they're not, then they're going to be sort of crumbly. So there you go. There's your humongous biscuits. Enjoy!